Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be installing VirtualBox 7, which is the latest version of VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. To install VirtualBox 7 on a Windows PC, the hardware requirements are fairly minimal. You only need an x86 processor, so any AMD or Intel processor should do the job for you. You're gonna need more depending on the operating system, but the basic requirement is 512 bigs of RAM. For hard to space, to install VirtualBox Manager, you only need 30 megabytes, but if you're installing some aggressive operating systems like a Mac OS or a Ubuntu, to, you may want to have at least five gigs in and the Mac OS, you'll probably need about 12 or 14 gigs in space. But that's something that you can allocate over time, depending on the operating system. Now that you know what the requirements are, let's go ahead and install it. And here I am at my Windows 11 desktop. I have my Chrome browser open. I'm at virtualbox.org. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. Right over here on the homepage, you can see that we have the download link for VirtualBox. We'll go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna bring us to the download section. We're gonna be downloading the Windows host. So let that click and download. It's 105 megs in size. Just have to open it up by clicking on it. And there we go. I'm just gonna minimize my browser so we can focus on this window. Um, at the prompt, we can go ahead and click on next, and we're going to be installing all the features that come with it, and we'll be using the default path. If you're running into space issues or you want to run your virtual machine on another drive, you can always click on browse and select that drive. Uh, once you have that selected, you can click on next. We're just getting an interface warning over here. We can proceed with the installation by clicking on yes, and it's letting us know about the dependencies with Python core. We can click on yes, and we're ready to install, so we'll just click on install. All right, the installation is now complete. We can leave this option selected and then click on finish and it's gonna boot up our VirtualBox Manager. Okay, and there we go. So we have our VirtualBox Manager. It looks exactly like the version six uh, with a few slight modifications in the way the interface looks. The next thing that we're gonna be doing is installing the extension pack. So I'm gonna jump back over to my browser and there we go. And we want to install the extension pack so we can take advantage of all the additional features that it offers. So I can go ahead and click on that and it's gonna download it, and here it is. Click on that to open it. Let me just minimize my browser. It's noticing that I had a previous version installed, which is version 6.1. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that by clicking on the button over here, and then we can scroll down to the license and click on I agree. So that's how you do it. That's how you install VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. VirtualBox is also compatible with other host operating systems like Linux distributions, Mac OS X, Solaris, and Open Solaris. Uh, so you can install a very similar version and run it on a different operating system as well as run those operating systems within VirtualBox. I have a lot of different guides on my channel, GeekWare Guides, and you can see that I have many different tutorials to get this installed. You only need about 30 megs of hard disk space to install the application, but if you're gonna be installing different operating systems, you might need up to 10 gigs or more depending on the operating system. If you wanna check out those guides, I'll make sure I'll put some popular ones on the screen right now. I'll also be installing some new updates. And if you want to check out the Patreon link for my Discord group, you can go and check that out. I'll make sure I'll link that in the description as well because I provide a lot of ISO image files so you can install the operating systems there in an easy to find place. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.